climate change is one of the most urgent issues facing humanity right now. And our oceans play a crucial role in regulating global warming. Oceans absorb vast quantities of heat and carbon dioxide from our atmosphere, greatly reducing the rate of climatic change. Since the Industrial Revolution, the global ocean has absorbed around 30% of CO2 emissions produced by humans, and a massive 93% of the total heat generated by global warming has been absorbed by the ocean, shielding the atmosphere from more rapid change. So, it's vital that we learn more about how our oceans work so that we can improve our climate predictions and governments and society can plan for our future. The Southern Ocean, the vast sea that encircles Antarctica, plays a key part in regulating our climate. Although the Southern Ocean occupies only about 30% of the world ocean, it absorbs about three quarters of the heat and approximately half of the CO2. That's because of its unique pattern of circulation. It is the key region, globally, where deep waters rise to the surface, allowing new water masses to form and sink back into the ocean. This exposure of deep waters to the atmosphere is fundamental to the exchanges of heat and carbon between the ocean and atmosphere, as well as one of the main mechanisms by which relatively warmer northern waters reach the Antarctic and can drive melting. But the big question is, what will happen to this circulation as our climate changes? If Antarctica continues to melt at current rates, this may interrupt the circulation, leaving more heat and carbon in the atmosphere, which could be catastrophic for humanity. We must understand the processes that control this overturning circulation and how it may change in the future. To do this, we need to observe it. Scientists are using ships, satellites, robotic floats and gliders, seal tags, moorings and ice boreholes to monitor how the Southern Ocean is absorbing, storing and circulating heat and CO2 and delivering heat to ice shelves. This data can then be used to accurately model ocean behaviour and calculate global circulation patterns. It's critical that we observe and monitor the Southern Ocean in order to understand its unique role in affecting climate change, so governments and society can adapt and become more resilient for the future.